I understand we have a full moon coming this week. We do. On Wednesday, we have the full moon um, in the Cancer Capricorn axis, and it's joined by Mars because um, Mars is in the same sign as the moon. So where the full moon normally heightens one's emotions, this takes it to the next level for all 12 signs. So it depends on where it is in your chart. Yeah. Depends on how it impacts you. So for Cancers, which is the sign that we're in, um, for them, it's their partners, and they really need to take a hard listen to what their partner's saying. Because um, cancers a lot of times don't really believe what their partners are saying, and the partner is deadly serious, and they need to know about okay. whatever it is so they can accommodate it. For Leos, it is time literally to take a step back. This is the full moon where you should be away with your feet up on the chair, um, sipping a pina colada. Literally, it's a time of no energy. It's the end of their solar year. They need to retreat and regroup is really what they need to do. Um, and I have vacation coming up after this week, so yes, I will. And you will thoroughly enjoy it. For Virgos, um, not so much a time to vacation, but a time to get their affairs in order, to get things straight, to to go ahead and to, to put a plan in motion, to take their creativity to reach a broader audience and a goal and objective for themselves. So, But it's up to the Virgo to be the self-starter, and this is the impetus, the energy will be there for them to do that. For Libra, um, this is a time where they're, they're torn between a home demand and a work demand, and ordinarily I'm a big fan of saying, you know, take care of your job, but this time Libra, you really need to take care of your home, because um, there's something going on there that's not going to fix itself, and you need to give it some attention before it gets even worse. Um, for Scorpio, this moon is in their third house of day-to-day -day living in the ninth house of the law. There's some sort of procedural thing going on that's been messed up for a couple of months and they get the opportunity at this full moon to put it all together and straighten it all out and get a definitive answer so they know what to do or what not to do. So I think it's kind of like waiting for a ruling of some kind. For Sagittarians about how can I make more money? How can I how can I do two things? Number one, they need to look at their own resources and find a way to maximize them. And number two, they need through their own efforts to find a way to make more money because they just can't get by with what they have. They've had unanticipated expenses, so they really need to do something about that. For Capricorns, this moon is in their sign, um, and they also are having partnership issues, and their partner might be screaming and yelling, and the best thing you can do is just put your hair back, assume the position, and let them vent, because there's nothing serious. It's just a matter of a lot of frustrations building up. Um, for Aquarians, they, they really, there is somebody that is trying to offer the Aquarian some very, very good advice, and the Aquarian is resistant to it. But the Aquarian, and it's probably your mom, um, and if it is, you really need to listen to what they have to say. And if they offer you that advice, you should really, Aquarius, think about taking it. Because, Mom's always right. Well, a lot of times, yeah, and that's how the, the uh, right to vote mm -hmm. got um, passed, because the guy's mama told him to vote for it, for women. So I'm all for that. For, um, for Pisces, it is in their 11th house of, of hopes and wishes and goals and objectives. And the Pisces needs to rely on their friends. Um, their associates, their colleagues, people that are on the same level as them to help the Pisces get what it is that the Pisces wants. And the Pisces needs to articulate what it is that they want instead of just thinking that people are going to know. So um, for Aries, it's about dealing with a home and about a foundation is where that energy is. And um, they also, they have the opportunity to go out and do something professional. And if they could do it from their home, that would be even better. It's almost like find a way to work at home. And then for the uh, for Tauruses, the pace of their life is about to pick up. They had a little bit of a break, not much of one, but it's back to the short distance, short duration travel, not a lot of time to do everything you need to do on your plate because their plate is filling up very, very quickly. And then for Gemini, the last sign, it is really about um, a state of the finance check where the Gemini has to get a handle on their own spending on what they're, what they're obligated to, what they're not obligated to, instead of just blanketly paying for everything, they need to go ahead and be a little bit more selective because they're realizing their finances, their resources are finite rather than infinite. So that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. And to everybody, I am so glad we are independent. And, and don't lose sight of that, of the, of the way we got to be independent. And God bless the United States. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to you. See you next week. Always a pleasure.